G'day guys, it's Jeff Ware here from bikereview.com.au and today we are testing the SWM Super Jewel. Uh, I've just been doing a second opinion on this bike today. Chris is doing the full test and I haven't really ridden it off-road much. A bit of dirt road and a little bit of sort of trail ridey stuff. On it but I have done a bit on the tarmac and I've been reasonably impressed by the bike um, it's under 10 grand so let's just get that out of the way straight away it's an inexpensive bike uh, so what we found on the bike today so far or at least I have is especially just now I just pushed it through some really fast uh, tarmac sort of twisties for about 20 k's and it was awesome um, it just feels like a dirt bike. Uh, it feels a lot more like a, a dirt bike than most sort of sports adventure or uh, full adventure bikes do. Um, it's got, I guess it feels a bit like a super motard in a lot of ways, but without the really quick steering. Uh, the initial turn in's quick, but then after that it's very, very slow and lazy in the steering. So it, it takes a lot of wrestling around uh, to get it through the turns, but it, it's capable through the turns. Suspension's nice and firm uh, on the road, and uh, but it still has all that travel and it soaks up the bumps really well. So it's one of those bikes you can go really hard on on bumpy country roads. Gearbox is beautiful, um, really sweet, nice gearbox. I'm very very impressed by the gearbox. Uh, the engine is the 600cc uh, single, and um, although it feels lazy and long and very tall gearing it could really do with uh, a tooth down on the front sprocket um, we did some back-to-back -back roll ons today with our MT-07 Tracer uh, we did second gear third fourth fifth top gear roll ons from low speed high speed and um, you know it was right there with the Tracer so it's quite deceptive like a lot of big lazy singles are it also revs really high so you think it's revved to its maximum but it just keeps revving and revving and revving so it's actually quite a peaky single, which makes it a lot of fun, you know, dancing through the gearbox uh, in the twisties up and down. Um, so you can either sort of use that torque or uh, rev it. It actually prefers to be revved because it hasn't got that much punch at all down low, really. Um, a lot of that's the gearing. Fueling's not too bad. Um, the throttle's fairly smooth. Um, however, it's a really, really hard motorcycle to start. In fact, half the time it doesn't want to start at all. It takes a lot of work to get it going, hot or cold. So that's a bit disappointing. Um, but aside from that, uh, pretty impressive engine. Uh, brakes, look, it's got a single two-piston Brembo caliper, which simply isn't enough for the bike. So the brakes get a bit of a thumbs down from me. Uh, Off-road or on-road, there's just no nothing there. You've got to squeeze that lever as hard as you can. Um, so another disc would be good from SWM, thanks, <laughs> or at least a four-piston caliper. But everything else I found really good on the bike. I found the mirrors good, I found it comfortable. The seats are oh, pretty hard, you know, but it gives you a good feel uh, off-road. So that's the compromise there. Uh, the dash is easy enough to read, but really hard to operate. I mean, it's got this tiny little button to scroll through the menu, and I just couldn't do it while I was riding. Uh, you have to stop to be able to do that. And I couldn't find a temperature gauge, which kind of worried me a little bit because uh, I like to keep an eye on the temperature. The screen's good, it works well, I found it good. It didn't give me too much buffeting and I was quite comfortable there on the bike. Um, it's got the dual exhaust pipes which look really good but the sounds are very quiet of course. Uh, but like this handy rack's nice, the indicators. Overall it's a pretty good bike. Um, I just wish it had more stylish decals, a little bit more finishing to it, better welds and, um, and the brakes were a bit stronger. But overall, look for the price. Um, you could really fix those things up a little bit yourself and uh, make it your own. So, yeah, overall, I found it a, a reasonably good bike. Um, so it hasn't been developed for the tarmac, this particular model, but it does a, an all-round job, really. We've done, I think, about 50 k's of dirt today and, you know, a couple of hundred k's on the tarmac and um, it's a bit of a go-anywhere bike. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. Don't forget to like this video, share it, comment. We'd like to hear about your SWM experience as well. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. So have a great day and take it easy. And don't forget to check out Chris's full test on the bike on bikereview.com.au and his video on this YouTube channel. Cheers.